Welcome everybody, this is Pat Brown bringing you high school action between the Wingate Campus Generals and the Grand Street Campus Wolves. It is the fifth game for, check that, that's the fourth game for Grand Street. They come in with a record of one and two. They just beat Tilden Campus 53 to 50 on this past Monday. Both teams are in the Brooklyn A number three division led by Edwin Gonzalez. Also, they are led by their star player, Christopher Donegal, he's scoring 30 points per game. And then O'Neal Melchurch, he's averaging 14 points a game. Grand Street comes in scoring about 41.6 points a game, but they allow 49.6. Again, they come in at one and two, and they're gonna face a Wingate team that is four and one. They just came off a win against Uncommon Charter High School, 62-55, that again was on Monday. And they're led by their head coach, Kayvon Baker. He played and graduated from Brooklyn College in 2013, where he was named an all-conference player. He also played for the Kingsboro basketball team, where they won the city championship in 2009. Before being named the head coach at Wingate, he also coached at John Dewey High School. He teaches phys ed for the High School for Public Service and serves as the athletic director for Wingate. They are led by number one, Bryce Haynes. It's his first year. He came over from Eagle Academy where he is averaging 15 points a game and seven assists. Also led by number four, Aiden Smith. It's in his second year with the team. He's versatile and he's also in the best shape of his career, losing 30 pounds over the off season. He's averaging 12 points, six rebounds and three assists. And rounding up, it's number 23, Larry Arolo. He plays for the loyal to the game team in AAU, and his coach commended him on emerging as the vocal leader, being outspoken in practice, and if he continues, coach says the sky is the limit. He comes in averaging 12 points a game and 10 rebounds. Gonna get you the starting lineups for the Grand Street Campus. Hold on a second. All right, we had a correction on the numbers for the roster. And we got it. So, the starting lineup for the Grand Street Campus Wolves. You have the senior, number 22, Delano Evans. You have the sophomore, number five, Christopher Denegal. The junior, number 11, Antonio Fennell. The senior, number one, Romario Brown. And rounding out the starting five is uh, the freshman at number four, Drashawn Peak. These starters for the Wingate Campus Generals. You have number one senior point guard, Bryce Haynes. You have number four, the senior shooting guard, Aiden Smith. You have the junior guard, number two, Hassani Thomas. Number 13, the senior guard, Amari Hines, and rounding up the starting five is number 23, Larry Rolo. We're just getting ready to have the tip, and the officials for tonight's game is Oren Barfield and Lenny O's. Both teams are ready to go. The Grand Street is in their huddle, getting ready to break and come on the court. Jumping for Wingate is Larry Arolo. And jumping for Grand Street will be number 22, Delano Evans. Whistle has blown. Tip is up and it's gonna go to Grand Street, taken by four, Pete. Pete gets it over to number one, Brown. Brown to Pete, Pete into the corner. Swings it back over to Denegal. Denegal swings it all the way to the corner to Pete. Pete back to Fennell. Fennell back over to Denegal. He shoots the three, no good, and rebounded by 23. That is Rolo. He brings it up. Smith has it, puts the layup, and it's in. Right away, Smith.
Coles in for the easy layup. It's 2 nothing. Now they're showing half-court press. Swings it over to Fennell. Fennell to Denegal. Denegal to Fennell. Fennell into the corner to Brent. Back to Fennell. Swings it back and tip stolen. Taken by number four, Pete. It's blocked by Evans. Now we're going back the other way to Kelly. And tipped again, stolen by Wingate again. That was stolen by Brown. Over to Thomas. And it's a foul. That foul was on number 12, O'Neal Merchants. Melchurts, I should say. And going to the line is number two, Thomas. Thomas knocks down the first. Thomas shoots the second and misses and rebounded by Fennell. Fennell gets it over to... Oh, he's trapped. Gets it over to Denegal. Denegal back to Fennell. Fennell over to Peak. Peak into the paint. Swings it back over into the corner. And out of bounds as he stepped out. That was 22 Evans on the drive. Wingate basketball. Taken by Haynes. Haynes brings it up. Pass half court. Swings it to the corner. Smith. Puts it up and in. Smith has the other basket. And it is now 6-0 for Wingate at the 6.25 mark of the first quarter. And right now, Grand Street calls a timeout. Trying to regroup because Wingate comes out in a straight 6-0 run. Aiden Smith with four points. Thomas with two. Grand Street has to slow the pace down. They have three turnovers so far in the game. Got to get stronger passes because Wingate is playing in the passing lanes. Getting good deflections and then coming up with the steal. Four points off steal so far. It's a full timeout. The Wingate comes out showing full court press. Official Barfield over to the table, giving them instructions. And Grand Street comes out of the huddle. And they'll be taking out under the basket. It'll be number five, Denigo, to inbound. And they switch it. It's now Peak to inbounds. Five seconds. Gets it over to Fennell. Fennell back to Peak. Peek swings it over to, oh, stolen by 23. That is Rolo, but it was stolen right back by Evans. Evans gets it to Fennell. Fennell top of the key, swings over to the corner. Denegal shoots the three, and it's good. Denegal hits his first basket. It's now 6-3. Wingate comes up, Peek into Rolo. Rolo, baseline, puts it up, no good. Rebounded by Evans. Now we'll bring the ball up. That is Denegal. Even over to Fennell. Fennell into the corner to Evans. Evans back to Peak. Peak drives. Doubled. Swings it back to Denegal. Denegal at the corner. Swings it over to Evans. Evans into the corner. Stolen by number four. That is Smith. Drives. Puts the layup up. No good. Rebounded by Thomas. Over to Peak. And it's a basket. So now it is eight to three. Into the corner, Evans. Fake the three. Back to Tenegal. He shoots the three from deep. No good. Rebounded by Hines. Hines brings the ball up. Gets it over to the corner for three. It's good. That is Thomas knocking it down from deep. Four minutes, 50 seconds left to go. It's 10-3. 
as Wingate. You guys got five seconds. Get over. He does finally. That is Fennel. 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 Then a guy out into the corner. Driving, but blocked. Swings it back to the top of the key to Denegal. Almost stolen, but Finnell has it. And he's going to be traveled. So that's the fourth turnover for Grand Street. And now we have a sub as number 25, Q Sawyers, comes in. And sitting down will be number 12, Melchers. So Wingate brings the ball up. It's over to Smith. Smith takes the three. No good, but he was fouled. So it's going to be three free throws for Aiden Smith. That foul is on number 22. That is Evans. That's his first. Team second. So it's Aiden Smith to the line to shoot three free throws. Knocks down the first. Has the ball. Puts it up. Nice for him. He's knocked down two. And now sub comes in. Coming in for Amari Hines is number 25, Naeem Walker. Third free throw coming by Smith. And not good, and rebounded by Grand Street. That is Denegal who has it. Brings over to Fennell. Fennell into the paint, over to Evans. Evans spots the three, and he knocks it down. It's now 12-6 with four minutes left to go in the first quarter. Aiden Smith has it into the paint. Swings it over to Larry, and he is fouled. That is Rolo on the baseline. Foul was by number five. That is Denegal is his first, the team's third. Going to the line to shoot two is Larry Arolo. And he rattles home the first. And now coming into the game for number two, Thomas, is number 10, Josiah. Denzel Josiah, the shooting guard. Second free throw is up, and it's good by Rolo. It's now 13-6, under four minutes to go. Gets it over to Walker. Walker spin, but stolen by Smith. Smith goes down, pulls up at the free throw line, no good, and rebounded. It was rebounded, but it was traveled by number 25, Sawyers. Ref was right there, so inbounding is 10, Josiah. For Wingate under the basket. Gets it over to number one, Haynes. Haynes pulls it back out on the right side on the wing. And kicked out of bounds by Fennell. So again... Josiah is going to inbound on the side in front of Grand Street's bench. Gets it in to Haynes. Haynes gets it to Smith. Smith at the top of the key. Goes into the paint, but he palmed the ball and turned it over. So now it's going to be Grand Street going the other way. Three minutes, 34 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Wingate up, 13-6. Swings it over to Denegal. Denegal brings it up. Wingate showing press. Swings it over to Fennell. Fennell fakes, top of the key. Gets it over into the corner. For number four, for three, no good. Rebounded by Arolo. That shot was by Peak. Now into the paint, puts it up off the glass, no good. Rebounded by Evans. Evans comes one back. Gets in the paint, pulls it up, and he lost the dribble. Picked up by Smith. Smith now down the middle. Swings it over into the corner. For three, no good, rebounded by Arolo. He puts it in off the offensive rebound, and he's fouled. And that foul was by number 11, Fennell. That's his first, the team's fourth. And now coming in for peak for Grand Street is number one, Romario Brown. And coming in for Wingate is number three, Jordan King. So on the line to try to complete the three-point play is Arolo. 
and he does. So now inbounding is Brown. Brown gets it to Fennell. Swings it over to Denegal. Try to trap, gets it over to Fennell. Fennell over to Evans. Down, up, oh, stolen by Arolo. Given now to Josiah. Josiah into the paint, puts up the floater, no good. Fighting for the rebound, Denegal comes away with it. Denegal's going to take his time walking it up. Gets it over to Fennell. Fennell on the wing, on the left side. Gets it down to Sawyer. Sawyer pulls it back out. Holes, gets it back to Fennell. 15 on the shot clock. Fennell, foul line, cut off. Gets it over to Brown. Brown over to Denegal for three. And he banked it home off the glass. That's the second three-pointer for Denegal. It's now 16-9. Over to Josiah. Into the paint to Arolo. And over the back was number 25. That is Soyuz. That's going to be his first foul. That's his first. The team's fifth. Inbounding is Thomas. Thomas under the basket to Arolo. But... Fight for the ground, and we have a kickball. Who's it going to stay? Nope, they're saying Grand Street basketball. So fight for the ball on the floor. Rolled and kicked by Wingate. Grand Street takes over. Inbound to Fennell. Over to Denegal, and going to be a foul on number 10. Trying for the steal, that's Denzel Josiah. On the push, that's his first and the team's first. So inbounding will be Sawyers. Sawyers gets it to Fennell. Fennell breaks the press, gets over to the corner, and stolen by number two, Thomas. Gets it back to Arolo. Arolo brings it up, gets it over to Josiah. Josiah on the right wing, swings it over to Thomas. Thomas goes baseline, puts it in. He passed it to King. King went baseline and put it home. One minute, 20 seconds left to go in this first quarter. Almost stolen again. On the ground. We have a jump ball. Possession is pointing to Wingate. And now subbing for Wingate is number zero, Jazz Jeffers. He's going to come in for number 10. That is Denzel Josiah. 18-9 is the score. Wingate's up. Going toward the end of the first quarter. Double team gets it to Arolo. On the wing, gets into the paint. Swings it up. He's blocked and taken away by Fennell. Fennell drives, holds it. Gets it over to Melchurch. Melchurch to Fennell. Fennell splits the double team, gets it to the post for the three. And he rattles it home. That was number one, Romario Brown. So it's now 18-12, 40 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Off the dribble, that is Thomas, but he dribbled it out of bounds, taken by, and he double dribbled. He looking for Fennell on the fast break, picked his head up, lost the dribble. And we have a sub coming in. That is Quazy McCray. He's going to come in for Hassani Thomas. So McCray is going to bring the ball up. Guarded by Romario Brown. Good defense. Swings it over to number three, King. King back to McCray. McCray into the paint. Puts up the floater. Banks it home. McCray hits his first basket. Now 10 seconds left in the quarter. Fennell is off the dribble. Stopped by half court. Finally gets it over, and for now does not get the shot off. So at the end of the first quarter, it's Wingate 20 and Grand Street Campus 12. So both teams are going to regroup. Right now, 
for Grand Street, they have to take, uh, take care of the basketball. Ill-advertent passes, double dribbles, and some turnovers. Unforced, by the way, and being taken advantage of by Wingate. That's why they have an eight-point lead. Right now, you have, for Wingate, Rolo has five points. Smith has four points, sorry, six points. Thomas has six points. King has two, and McCray has two. For Grand Street, Evans has three. Denegal has six, and Brown has two. High school basketball, Wingate versus Grand Street. End of the first quarter, it's 20 to 12. Wingate is up. Official Barfield goes to the table, says, okay, we're getting ready to start the second quarter. He blows a whistle, informs both teams it's time to bring the team out. Wingate is on top of the Brooklyn A3 division at 3-0. And it's going to be Grand Street Ball. On the floor is Evans, Melchertz, Peak, Denegal, and number one, Brown. We have a foul on zero. Reaching foul on Jeffers. That's his first, the team's first in the second quarter. So Peak is going to inbound. Peak inbounds to Denegal. Denegal top of the key, looking for Peak, gets it over to Brown. Brown spots up Evans for three, high off the glass, but rebounded by Melchers, but stolen. And number five puts it up. Oh, he did not make the layup. It was an easy layup. Evan goes coast to coast, swings it over to Peak. Peak for three. And he knocks it down. Peak hits the first basket of the second quarter. It's now 20 to 15. Over to the corner. High arc and three, no good. Rebounded by 13. That was Hines and he dribbled off of his leg and then toe hand, two hands on it. So it's gonna be Grand Street basketball. Inbounding will be Sawyers who just checked in. Gets it over to Brown. Brown, double, splits it, and he palmed it, turned it over. So now it's gonna go the other way. Hines, that, not Hines, that is King to inbound. Gets it over to McCray. And they gotta take three seconds off the shot clock. And we're gonna correct the clock. And we're ready to go. Ball is inbounded to McCray. McCray gets it over to Denegal. I'm sorry, not Denegal. Puts up, swings it over to McCray for three. No good. Fights for the rebound. Still volleying and gonna be taken by Fight for it. And finally, Jazz Jeffers comes up with it. Gets it to the paint. McCray puts it up. No good. Fighting for the rebound. Taken. 13 Hines puts it up off the glass. No good. Rebounded by Evans. Swings it over to Brown. Brown on the right side. Brought it by Hines. Double team now. Swings it over. Stolen. And it's going to be taken. And laid it up by number three, Jordan King. 22-15. Six. 15 left to go in the half. Stolen, oh, almost stolen again by King. Wingate doing an excellent job of seeing the pass, cutting the pass off, and getting their hands on it. So checking in now is Bryce Haynes, and number four, Aiden Smith, comes in for Wingate for Jeffers and Thomas. Gets into the paint, off the glass, no good, got his own rebound. Fighting on the ground is going to be 
taken by Wingate and gets it over to Aiden Smith. Smith. Oh, a good pass there by King looking for Hines, but missed. And then a overpass over the head of Evans by who just checked in. Number three, Othniel White. Haynes brings it up, gets it over to Smith on the wing, drives baseline, puts up the 12-footer, and he knocks it down. Twenty-four, fifteen, five and a half go. Evans has it, puts up the shot, knocks it down. That was a two. He was inside the three-point line. So now Smith has it on the wing, gets it back, swings it over to Hines. Hines into the paint for three. It's good. Jordan King knocked it down. And now Wingate is starting to pull away. They're up by 10, largest lead of the game. Long pass. Evans corrals it. Gets the basket. No good. Fighting for the rebound. And off of 25. That is Sawyers. And now number 11 Fennell comes back in for number three White and coming in for Wingate is number 10 Josiah ball's moving very quickly now Josiah gets it back over to three puts up the floater and it's good that is Jordan King now asserting himself he's got nine Fennell has it into the paint, puts up the layup, no good, rebound, oh, stolen, and rebound put in, no good, finally rebounded by number one, gets it over to Josiah, and the basket counts with the foul, Josiah went to the hole, put it up, it bounced high, didn't look like it was going to go in, but finally fell through, and he's going to go, foul is on number one by Brown, that's his first, first team foul of the second quarter going to the line to shoot one to complete the three-point play is number 10 Josiah and no good rebounded by 25 Sawyers gets over it then the guy the guy fouled by number 10 that was a hard reaching foul by Josiah that's his second foul team second Four minutes, 24 seconds left to go in the half. Wingate up, 31-17. So Denegal to inbound. Gets it into Fennell. Fennell gets it over to Peak. Peak to Denegal. Denegal almost taken. And it was a travel as Josiah tied him up, let it go as he spun, take too many steps. Ball goes to Wingate. Swiftly to Smith. Smith for three. No good. Rebounded by Denegal. Denegal double dribbled on the around the back dribble. Another turnover back to Wingate. Josiah to inbound, inbounds it to Haynes. Haynes keeps his dribble, gets into the paint, puts up the free throw shot, and knocks it down. Haynes with his first basket. 33-17 with 3.50 left to go. Fennell on the right side. And fouled by number 10, Josiah. That's his third So he's going to have to come out with three fouls and taking his place as number 13, Amari Hines, and coming in for Grand Street is number one, Rosario, Romario Brown. So Haynes, Evans to inbound. He gets it to Fennell. Back to Evans. Evans takes a three. High arc and shot, no good. And rebound by Fennell. Tried to get it into Evans off of the foot, and I believe it's going to stay Grand Street ball. Which it will. 
Ball gets in to Fennell. Top of the key. Holds. Back to Denegal on the wing. Pulls it back. Picks up his dribble. Gets it and out of bounds off of Arolo. Grand Street to inbound on the side in front of Wingate. Check that. They put it underneath the basket. So Evans now. Hold up. We have a sub as Darius General, freshman, comes in for Sawyers. Evans has swings it all the way, but stolen by Aiden Smith. Around his back, goes to the hole, puts it up and in. Aiden Smith dropped it in. And now it's now 35-17 with three minutes left to go in the half. Swings it over to Brown. Brown double, gets it to... 20 to Evans, back, oh, but good job by Romario Brown following up the miss. And they've scored after a four minute drought in the second quarter. Smith, over to Hines. Back to King, King to Smith. Smith for three, no good, rebounded by Brown. Brown's gonna bring the ball up. Swings it over to Denegal, Denegal. Into the corner for Evans. Evans takes the three and knocks it down. Nothing but net. So now it's 35-22. 2.20 left to go in the half. Hines puts up the... Nope. Swings it over to Smith. Back to Hines. Puts up the floater. No good. Rebounded by Rolo, but it bounced off of his foot and it goes to Grand Street. Grand Street gets it over to Brown. Brown to Denegal. Denegal picked it up. Swings it over. Fennell under the basket, but he is fouled. Number three, that is King. That's his first team foul. Sorry, his first foul, the team's third foul. And Fennell is going to go to the line to shoot two. So Fennell gets the ball from the official. Takes his first free throw and rattles it out. And now you have wholesale changes for Wingate. Hassani Thomas. Zanel Radoncic. And Jazz Jeffers come in. Sitting down is Haynes, King, and Josiah. Second free throw, no good. Radoncic has the rebound. Taken by Smith. Smith puts up the shot and not roll. Rebounded by Evans. Evans, oh, he threw it right to Thomas. Thomas around, pulls it back, but he lost the dribble and is taken by Denegal. Denegal to Fennell. Fennell to the pass to Brown. He lays it in and he scores. 35-24 with one and a half left to go. Thomas over to Haynes for three. Haynes said, okay, I'm going to come off the screen. Nobody fought over it. I'm just going to take the three and knock it down. So now they push the lead up to 12. 38, sorry, 14, 38-24. Timeout call by Grand Street. With one minute, 22 seconds left to go in the half. Wingate holding a 14-point lead. Head coach Gonzalez is a little frustrated with Grand Street because they are being very careless with the basketball. Throwing the ball away, not looking as Wingate is playing the passing lanes. So they're not taking care of it. They're throwing it inadvertently. A couple of times they threw it right into the hands of the Wingate player who went back. I don't have the official stats as points off of turnovers, but Wingate, I'm sure, has a big lead when it comes to that. Wingate doing a very good job of pushing the tempo, getting the ball up court very quickly. Nice, quick passes, getting the defense off balance, finding an open shot, and knocking it down. Timeout 
is just about over. You're listening to Pat Brown bringing you all the high school action here at Wingate Campus. 38-24 with 1 minute 22 seconds left to go in the half. Inbounding under the basket will be number five, Denegal. Gets it over to Fennell. Fennell back to Denegal. Denegal brings it up, swings it back to Fennell. Fennell over to Brown. Brown for three. No good. Rebounded by Haynes. Haynes pulls it up. High off the glass. No good. Rebounded by Jeffers. Jeffers pulls it back out. Gets it to Smith. Smith over to Haynes again. He takes the three. That was no good. Nice rebounded by Brown. Brown pulls it up. Gets it over to Fennell. 50 seconds left to go in the half. Gets it over into the corner. Then the guy spots up the three. No good. Rebounded by the fight for the rebound. And my goodness, it's a scramble. Scramble. Looked like a rugby play. But it's going to be a jump ball, and possession arrow is going to Wingate. So 41 seconds. Hold it. We have a sub. You got to wait for the official before the sub can come in. So Radonchik comes out, and Larry Arolo comes in. So 11 second difference between the game clock and the shot clock. Gets it over to Smith on the left side. Smith into the paint. Finger roll. No good. Too hard, but we have a foul. And we're going to see that foul is on. Number 20, that is Darius General. That's his first foul. And they're in the bonus, so it's a one and one situation for number four, Aiden Smith. Knocks down the first. And now number 25 comes in for Wingate. That is Nyan Walker. And number zero, Jazz Jeffers comes back in. So Smith to take the second free throw. And hard, but rebounded by Fennell. Fennell brings it up on the right side. Gets it over to Evans. Evans takes the three. No good. Rebounded by Smith. Smith gets it over to Haynes. Puts it high up the glass, no good. Arolo puts it back up on the offensive rebound and scores the basket. So 10 seconds left to go in the half. Vanell has it. Five seconds stolen by Jeffers. Laying it up and in. And that is the end of the first half. The score, Wingate Campus Generals 43, the Grand Street Campus Wolves 24. That is the end of the first half. We're going to take a break, and then we're going to come back with the start of the second half. You're listening to Pat Brown, bringing you all the high school action between Wingate and Grand Street. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, for the second half of the basketball game between the Wingate Campus Generals and the Grand Street Campus Wolves. The score at halftime is Wingate 43 and the Grand Street 24. Tale of the first half, a lot of turnovers for Grand Street, not taking care of the basketball, turning the ball over, double dribbles, palming, throwing the ball into the passing lane where Wingate is doing a great job of deflecting and getting steals. They have a lot of points off of turnovers, and right now, Wingate is led by Aiden Smith with 12 points, followed by Rolo with seven, and King with nine, and leading Grand Street is Evans with eight, and Romario Brown with seven. Getting ready to start the second half. Asani Thomas, Bryce Haynes in the front court. In the back court is Smith. Rolo and Hines. For Grand Street, it is Evans, Denegal, Brown, Fennell, and Darius General. So Grand Street is going to start with the ball. Fennell gets it in to Denegal. Denegal over to Fennell. Fennell into the corner. 
He gets it back to Mount Church. Mount Church looking. Long skip pass to Denegal, but stolen. And it's one for the layup. That's nice. That was Haynes. He has scored the basket. Over to Denegal. Under the basket. High off the glass. No good. Fights for the rebound, but Rolo comes away with it. Gets it over to Smith. Smith top of the key. Off the dribble. Puts a floater up. No, up. He gets the bounce high off the glass. So Smith has his first basket of the second half. 47 24. They double team him in the corner. And we have a travel by Fennell. The trap worked. As now Wingate is going to take the ball going the other way. Hines. Haynes gets it. Over to Smith. Over to Hines. Hines to Smith. Free throw shot. Rattles it home. 49-24. Start of the second second half. And, and we got a foul by Arolo. That's going to be his first foul. The team's first. Here in the third quarter. And Grand Street will be taking it from under the basket. Evans to inbound. Looking for somebody. Finally gets it up to Fennell. He corrals it. Swings it up. Oh, he threw it out of bounds as Denegal tried to save it. A third turnover. No sub as of yet. So the ball gets in to Haynes. Haynes over to Hines for three. High off the glass. No good. Redone by Evans. Denegal has it. Swings it over. Nice pass by Denegal to Melchurts. And they're attacking the basket. As finally gets into the paint, puts up the shot. No good. Rebounded by Denegal. Denegal on the right side. Gets in the paint. Knocked out of bounds. Off of, they say, off of 13. Hines, and now for Wingate, Hassani Thomas comes out, and in comes Jordan King. And coming for Grand Street is number four, Deshaun Peak. So now back to Peak. Peak shots the three, no good. Offensive rebound by Brown. Brown over to Melchurch. Melchurch to Brown. Brown to Fennell. Fennell looking, 25 on the shot clock. Gets it over to Melchurch. Melchurch open for three. Airballed it, but rebounded by Brown. Gets it over, but stolen by number one, Haynes. He pulls it back out, keeps his dribble, gets it over to Smith. Smith into the paint, hands it over to Rolo, puts it off the glass and in. Rolo with his third basket. It's now 51-26, five and a half left to go in the third. Double team. Gets it over to Fennell, and good job getting it over to Brown. Brown, over to Fennell. Nice pass to Peak, who puts it home. Wingate gets it. Now Grand Street pressing, and almost steals it, and gets it back to Hines. Oh, Smith open, and puts the slam home. 53-28 with 4.50 left to go in the third quarter. Over to Peak. Peak guarded. Double team now into the corner for General. He misses, but Peak gets the offensive rebound, puts it up, and in. Grand Street in the full court press. Smith over. Gets it back over to Haynes. Haynes to Rolo. And it's going to be a jump ball as they stopped it when he went up, or did they call a foul? We're going to wait to see. They call that foul on number 20. That is Darius General. That's his first. Check that that's his second foul. And checking in for both teams wearing 25. That is Liam Walker for Wingate. 
and for Sawyers for Grand Street. Swings it over to Haynes. Haynes on the wing on the left side, gets into the paint, pulls it back, swings over to Smith. Smith into the paint, puts it up, and no good, but he was fouled as he was hit on the arm as he went up. That is the third foul by General. And Smith is going to go to the line to shoot two. Smith takes the first free throw, knocks it in. As Evans comes in for Romario Brown. One shot left for Aiden Smith. And misses the second free throw, rebounded by Evans. Gets it back to Evans. Evans, back to Fennell. Fennell into the corner for General for three. No good. Fighting for the rebound, taken by Arolo. Arolo over to Haynes. Haynes puts it up and in, and a foul. So Haynes will go to the line to shoot one. Again, another foul by General. That is four on number 20. And coming in for Wingate is zero, Jazz Jeffers. One shot left for Haynes, trying to complete the three-point play. And knocks it down. So now Haynes comes out and replacing him is number five, Quasi McRae. So now Grantree brings it in and stolen by Rolo, but kicked around. He picks it back up, swings it up. No good. We got a goal 10. They're going to count that basket as it was blocked as it hit the backboard first. So Rolo counts the basket. And now we have a sub as Denegal is going to come in for 25. Melcher, so check that, that's Sawyers. And they're going to let General stay in the game with four fouls, number 20 for Grand Street. Then the guy gets it over to General. He makes it, puts it up, and in! Good job by General scoring the basket. 3.30 left to go. It's 59-32. Wingate up. McRae gets it into the corner. A high arc in three, no good, but rebounded by McRae. He misses. Offensive rebound by Arolo. Puts it back up. Gets it again. Puts it back up, and he's fouled three straight offensive rebounds by Arolo. He gets fouled. He's going to go to the line to shoot two. Relentless on the boards. That foul was by Evans. That's his second. And Arolo hits the first free throw. And he knocks down both free throws. So it's now 61-32. 29-point lead, 3-10 left to go in the third quarter. Gets over to Fennell, under the basket to General. Nice, good job by Grand Street, moving the ball very quickly, and a basket by Darius General. Ball's being brought up by McCray, gets it over to King. King looks into the post, but it's knocked away. As now Denegal comes in, puts it up, off the glass, no good, but he is fouled. It's either by Jeffers or Walker. We'll wait to see what the official says. And nobody's come to the table yet to see who the foul was on. So I can't tell you. But then a the guy's on the line to shoot two. And he knocks the first one down. He's got one more left. And does not get the second one. Rebounded by King. He's going to bring the ball up. Has it, 
Gets it over to McRae for three. No good. And they let it go out of bounds. And it's going to be Grand Street basketball. 61-35. 2.40 left to go in the third quarter. Benegal on the right side. He's doubled. And gets it to Fennell. Fennell under the basket to Pink, but he's blocked! Blocked by 25 Walker! Arolo comes into the paint, puts it up off the glass and in, but they say wave it off. They're going to say offensive foul. Good job by Peak taking the charge from Arolo. Arolo, that's his second foul. Team's third. As now Radoncic comes in for Wingate along with Smith. Sitting down is Arolo. And Fennell gets it into the paint. Under the basket to General. Swings it over to Peak. Peak for three. No good. Rebounded. Rebounded by Jeffers. He was fouled on the rebound. We have subs coming in as Josiah and Thomas come in for King and Haynes. Ball is inbounded to Thomas. Thomas into the corner to Smith. Smith into the corner. Oh, blocked! That three-point shot was blocked. That was put up by Jeffers. Blocked by Evans. 27 left on the shot clock. High to Smith. Smith top of the key. Into the corner. Good job. Into the corner again for three. No good. Offensive rebound. Two offensive rebounds by Josiah, but no good. And we got a ball stolen. I don't know how they didn't call a foul on that. And he misses the rebound layup, but puts it back in. He tried to get a little fancy. That was Jeffers. He missed the first one. It was rebounded by Josiah. Got it back to Jeffers, and Jeffers puts it back in. Delayed game on Wingate. That's the first warning. So they get one more, and it'll be a technical foul. 148 left to go in the third quarter. It's 63-35. As the official is helping them to score the book, make sure they know that was the first warning for a delayed game. The second delayed game will be an automatic technical foul. And sub is number 23. That is Darian General. He comes in for number 20, his brother, Darius General. Ball is inbounded to Denegal. Denegal fights, and it's going to be a foul on number 10, Josiah. Josiah, that's his fourth. Josiah's going to have to come out with four fouls, and coming back into the game is Amari Hines. Denegal inbounds it to Fennell. And now gets it back to Denegal. Denegal picks it up, swings it over. Evans takes the 12-footer, banks it off. No good. Rebounded by Smith. He's off to the races. And comes down, puts the layup up. No good, but blocked on the rebound. Taken by Denegal. Denegal's going to walk it up. Now he picks up the pace. Swings it over into the corner. Peak around the defense, puts it off the glass. And in! Peak dropped it. It's now 63-37. One minute, ten seconds left to go in the third quarter. Swings it over to Smith, but that was telegraphed and stolen by Fennell, and he lays it in. Easy basket for Fennell. That's his first basket of the afternoon. Thomas comes, swings it over into the corner, gets into the paint, double teamed. And we got a foul reaching over the back. It's either number five or number 22. Then the Gala Evans. We'll wait to see. It is number five, Then the Gal. That's his second team foul. And coming in for Wingate is Bryce Haynes. Coming out is Thomas. 
under the basket to 13. He lays it in. What an easy basket for Amari Hines. And we got a foul call. Now Evans to inbound, gets it to Denegal. Denegal has it. Swings it all the way across the court to Peak. Peak for three. No good. It rolls in and out, but off of off of Grand Street, they say. And it's gonna go to Wingate. And now coming in the game is the sophomore point guard, Polite Morgan, for Wingate. Ball is inbounded with 27 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Haynes is bringing it up. Guarded by number three. Puts up the layup, no good. Radoncic gets it, and he's fouled on the offensive rebound. Radoncic's gonna go to the line to shoot two. Sixteen seconds left to go in the quarter. 65-39 is the score. Radoncic is going to shoot two. And he knocks down the first free throw. Dantes gets the ball. Getting ready to shoot the second free throw. Takes four bounces, puts it high, and nothing but net. And now the whistle blown, and I don't know why they stopped it. Othniel White comes in for Grand Street along with 23, Darian General for Grand Street. Denegal will bring the ball up. Wingate looking to trap. Swings it all the way across. Three-point shot is rattled home there by White. And that's the end of the third quarter. With the score, Wingate 66, Grand Street 42. Sixty-six forty-two is the score. End of the third quarter. One ten-minute quarter left to go. One gate trying to improve to five and one. Give you scoring recaps by quarters. First quarter, Wingate outscored Grand Street 20 to 12. In the second quarter, they outscored them 23 to 12. And in this third quarter, Grand Street is down 18 to 23. Add them up, it's 66 42. High score for Wingate is Aiden Smith. He has 19 on the afternoon. And we're ready to start the final quarter. Denegal, Evans, White, General, and Peak for Grand Street. Arolo, Haynes, Smith, Morgan, and And that was taken. Evans, reverse layup and in. Good job by Evans getting to the hole. Haynes gets it over to Morgan. Morgan into the block to a Rolo. Rolo spins, misses the handle, but puts it up. But fighting for the offensive rebound is going to be off of. Off of Wingate, they say. And now Fennell comes back in. He comes in for Peak. 
And they inbound the ball to Denegal. Wingate showing three-quarter press. Skip past the Vanell and almost stolen, but Denegal gets it into the corner. Evans spots up the three and knocks it down. So they're on a 5-0 run to start the fourth quarter. 66-47. Can Grand Street whittle it down and get back in the game? Over to Morgan. Morgan off the dribble, spins into the paint, puts it off the glass. Oh, rolled in and out, but a foul was called. Morgan, great job on the spin move, got to the basket, but it was a foul by number 11, Fennell. That's his second foul. Polite Morgan to shoot, two free throws. Rolls it off the front rim and in. And coming in the game is number three, Jordan King for Wingate. And he misses the second free throw, rebounded by Evans. So now gets it to Denegal. Denegal. Gets it back to Evans. Evans swings it over. Almost threw it away, but Fennell gets it. Back into the corner. Back to Fennell. Fennell swings it over to Denegal. Denegal into the paint. And he threw it right to Morgan of Wingate. Morgan brings the ball up. Nice and easy. He's on the right side. Looks at Smith, but passes it over into the corner to Haynes. Haynes puts it. No good. Rebounded by Fennell. Fennell gets it to Denegal. Coach is saying, move it up. Gets it. Stolen again by Morgan. Two straight steals by Morgan. Gets it over to Smith. Smith into the paint. And he's fouled. Oh, no, they're going to say he took too many steps before the foul. So travel call and Grand Street basketball. 25 is going to check in. That's Sawyers. And he comes in for Denegal. Six minutes, 20 seconds left to go. Wingate up by 20, 67, 47. Vanell gets it into the paint. Evans puts up the shot, high off the glass, and in. Evans has four baskets in this fourth quarter. And Wingate is going to call a timeout as Coach Baker is hot at Smith. He's important that, hey, we might have a big lead, but you got to take care of fundamentals. Fundamentals is what got you the lead. Fundamentals is what's going to help you keep the lead. So he's imploring them, hey, do not get swelled up by your big lead. We have to play consistent basketball all four quarters. Grand Street, on the other hand, they're on a 5-2 run here to start the fourth quarter. They got it down to 20. Now they got it down to 18. Timeout's over. Naeem Walker has now checked in for Wingate along with Jordan King. Jordan King is going to inbound the ball. Arolo has checked back in for Wingate as well. Hounded. Gets it over to King. Over to Arolo. Arolo under the basket. Puts it up and scores the basket with the hero step. 25 got him on the arm. That is uh, Sawyers. That's his second foul. Team second in the fourth quarter. And he knocks down the free throw to complete the three point play. Evans back to Fennell. Back to Evans. Double comes into the corner for Generals. Went all under the basket. Stolen. But got it back by Grand Street. Fighting for the rebound again on the floor. And we're going to have a jump ball. Possession arrow is pointing toward Wingate. Good job by both Evans and Walker on the ground trying to get that loose ball. But Wingate's going to come away with possession. Swings it over to Arolo. Arolo over to Haynes. Haynes got smacked in the face as he was trying to get the pass. That was inadvertent foul, but it's a foul nonetheless by Sawyer. That's going to be his third foul. And Haynes is going to go to the line to shoot two. Nice 
Knocks down the first one. One more free throw left. A knocks down both of them. So now it's 72-49. Evans gets it. Double team. Into the paint. Nice job. Oh, we missed it. Offensive rebound by General. Puts it up. Off the backboard. No good. Arolo gets the rebound. He's going to bring it up. Under the basket to King. Swings it back out to Haynes. He corrals it. Swings it on to the left side. Into the paint. Almost stolen, but taken by King. But King stepped out. Turnover. Grand Street basketball. Five oh eight left to go in the game. 72-49. Long pass. Take him. General puts it in. Now Wingate's going to walk it up. And finally taking him on the left side. Guarded by King. Wide open for three. No good. Rebounded by Haynes. Haynes gets it back to King. Over into the corner to Morgan. Morgan shoots the three. No good. Rebounded by White. White gives it to Fennell. Fennell into the corner for Evans for three. No good. Rebounded by General. Gets it over to White. Fennell. Top of the key, into the paint, Euro step, puts it off the glass, no good, rebounded by Arolo. Gets it over to Morgan. Morgan, over to King. Euro step, blocked! Good job by 25, Sawyer. And another offensive rebound taken away by Arolo, so no second chance. Morgan puts it up, and no good. Fouled by, I believe that Sawyer again. If it is, that's his fourth. Check that. They do not call it on Sawyer. They call it on number three, White. That is his first. And Morgan's going to go to the line to shoot two. Morgan misses the first free throw. And coming in for number three, King, is number 13, Amari Hines. So one more free throw for Morgan. He puts it up. No good. Rebounded by Evans. At the scores table for Wingate is Jazz Jeffers looking to come in. Evans swings it over to Sawyer. Sawyer gets into the paint. General puts it off the glass and in. And good job over to, that was Hines with the hop step, and the basket goes in. Hines, good job. Gets the score back up to 74-53 with 3.40 left to go in the game. So right now, Wingate looking to solidify this game. But the game is not over until the clock reads all zeros and anything can happen in the game of basketball. Timeout was called by Wingate. After the game, we'll have interviews with the head coach and the player of the game, who I will select. And the coach will confirm. And if he has a different player, we will interview that player. Timeout is over. So, Grand Street's going to inbound the ball. So, he's got it into Fennell. Fennell was tripped up. And they're going to say travel. Nope. Now they say travel. They're going to say foul on 23. 23, Arolo with the foul. That's his third. Under the basket, inbound to Fennell. Fennell knocked out of bounds by Haynes. 
And now coming in for Grand Street is number two, Leonardo Mercedes. He comes in for 25 Sawyer. And they're not allowing the substitution. Inbound to Evans, Evans to Fennell. Back to Evans, Evans goes baseline. Puts up the reverse, no good. Fight for the rebound. Arolo comes away with it. Gets it over to Jeffers. Jeffers, no good, but he gets the foul. No basket. Foul is on number 22, Evans. That's Evans' third foul. And I believe they are close to being in the bonus. 74-53, 317 left to go in the game. Wingate's up. Jeffers rims the first one. No good. And now Leonardo Mercedes comes in for Sawyers. For Grand Street. Jeffers to shoot his second free throw. And he knocks it down. Finnegan, Finnell has it. Over to Evans, back to Finnell. Finnell goes baseline and tried to get it, but taken by number two. Mercedes gets it over to Evans. Evans puts it high off the glass and in. Evans has that shot down pat high off the glass. Wingate now looking inbound. Get it. Smith, who just checked in after the timeout, over to Haynes. Haynes pulls it back out, gets it to Smith. Smith spots up the three. No good. Rebounded, taken by Melchertz. He checked in after the timeout as well. 2.20 left to go. Melchertz, hop, skip, puts it up. No good. Rebound. Oh, no, they say travel. Took the four train to the basket. Wingate to inbound the ball. Inbound to Haynes. Haynes gets it over to Smith. Smith takes his time, crosses half court. Swings it over into the corner. Jeffers looking, gets it down to Arolo. On the block, puts up the spin move. No good on the rebound. And almost stolen by Haynes, but taken by Evans. Evans comes up fast. Puts it up to... Oh, my goodness. And we got a foul. That rebound was by Mercedes, who had the shot, got his own rebound, went up to put the shot, and got smacked in the face by number four, Smith. That's his first foul. So Mercedes is going to go to the line to shoot two. Two minutes, two seconds left to go in the game. 75-55. Make that 75-56 as Mercedes makes the basket. And coming in for Fennell is number one, Romario Brown. Second shot by Mercedes. He's up. He knocks both of them down. So now, Jeffers to inbound the ball. Gets it to Smith. Now, Grand Street pressing. Back to Jeffers. Jeffers, cross half court. Keeps his dribble, gets it over to Haynes. Haynes into the paint, swings it over to Smith. Smith drives, puts up the shot, no good. Rebounded by Evan Strong. Now he's driven. Gets it, oh, he threw it to absolutely nobody. He was a little bit out of control. He, I guess he saw White crashing to the basket. So Jeffers to inbound. Inbounds it to King, who just checked in. Back to Haynes. One and a half left to go in the game. Jeffers to Arolo, but stolen by Evans. Evans going to bring the ball up. And finger rolls and does not get the basket as King comes away with the rebound. He brings it back up. Gets it over to Haynes. Haynes pulls it back out. And that ball was stolen by Melchert. And Evans... Reverse layup and puts it in. One minute left to go. 75-59 is the score. Smith gets it over to King. King at the foul line. Swings it over to Jeffers. Jeffers back to Haynes. 
Haynes on the wing, pulls it back out. Gets over to Smith. Smith into the paint. Puts it up. No good. Fight for the offensive rebound. Goes to Arolo. He puts it in. 30 seconds left to go in the game. Evans brings the ball up. Gets it into the paint. Back to Evans. Evans under the basket to Mel Church. Mel Church puts it up. No good. Offensive rebound. Brown, but taken away by King. And they're just going to walk it out. 20 seconds left to go in the game. King's going to dribble. And he's just going to keep it dribbling. 10 seconds left to go. And ladies and gentlemen, the final score will be 77-59. It was stolen by Evans, who misses the slam at the end of the game. 77-59 is your final score. You've been listening to Pat Brown bringing you to high school basketball here at Wingate High School as they defeat the Grand Street Campus Wolves 77-59. Grand Street outscored Wingate 17-11 in that fourth quarter. This is Pat Brown. We're here with one of the players of the game, number four, Aiden Smith. And Aiden Smith, how does it feel to be 5-1, and one, taking care of the basket and the game today? Uh, I think it feels great because last year we was 5-13. We were already a step ahead because we had a bad year last year. We're doing better already. It's only five, six games into the season. So I feel like we yeah, we better now. Ooh, hold on. We got to turn. The music was a little loud. We couldn't hear. Uh, so you're saying last year you only won five games. This year you've already equaled that. So what are you looking forward to for this year for this team? To make a deep run in the playoffs. We can make a deep run in the playoffs. We could possibly win the, the, the city chip, like borough chip, possibly. I understand what you're saying. It's all right. I know you just got finished playing. You're a little tongue-tied. It's all right. But listen, you played a great game. Tell me about your teammates and what it means to them to get this win collectively a lot of steals a lot of deflections you guys ran the court very well i mean it means a lot because we work for this it means a lot like half of us we we i don't think none of us saw us going five and one in the beginning we all thought we'd be like because last year was a disgrace so we thought all right we got work to do and we we accomplished that from 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 summer to now and it's showing off well, I thank you for the game you played today, and good luck. Your next game's coming up, I believe, on Monday, right? I believe so, the 12th? We have a game tomorrow. You got a game tomorrow. I didn't Center. check the, the schedule. All right, so another game tomorrow. Uh, if it's possible, can I get the head coach to come over for an interview? Baker. Coach Baker? Head coach Baker, congratulations first and foremost for the win. Good, good job by your team. Uh, I was just talking to Mr. Smith. He said you guys only won five games last year. Coming into this year, did you see you guys gelling this quick in early in the season? Well, I definitely knew we would be an improved team. Uh, we spent the entire spring together. After the season was over, we spent the entire summer together. You know, our guys play basketball 12 months out of the year. Um, I definitely knew we'd be better. I didn't know how soon. But um, like you said, we won five games total last year. We won five already this season, five of our first six. So. I'm proud of the effort they put it in, and it's definitely deserving. Well, I, I saw you at a timeout. You had a big lead. I think you were up by 20. You called a timeout, and you were getting after them. Tell me, what is it that you were getting after them because you had, you did have a big lead? Well, it's mindset. It's mindset. Like like I noted before, we're a better team this year. We got some big goals. You know, we're trying to go deep into the playoffs. So I'm trying to coach for February and March, you know. Um, Regardless of score, time, things like that, certain things matter, certain things are acceptable, and certain things aren't. So that's what I was really trying to point out to him, that regardless of what's happening in the moment, understand who we're trying to be You know, at the end of the day. And being that you are a championship coach, you won a championship at Kingsborough, you played for Brooklyn College, my alma mater, by the way. Right. And <laughs> uh, the mindset that you're trying to instill in these young men is not just about playing the game, but it's about how you play the game. And from what I saw today, you guys play it hard, you play it aggressive, and obviously you often want to you want to smooth out some things. But hey, five and one is nothing to sneeze at, right? Nothing to sneeze at. Yeah, like like nobody's perfect, but I just try to explain to them that if you're disciplined, most of the time, good things will happen for you. You know, like we all have bad days or bad moments when we're doing the right thing, but for the most part, if you're doing the right thing, good things will happen to you. So. I, I just try to explain to them, explain that to them all the time. Like you never know who's watching, 
you know, somebody may hear about you from way over where and come to see you. You just want to put on your best performance. Someone's always watching you for the first time. So, including you. Including me. I'm always <laughs> watching, but, you know, I'm just trying to get them to understand that everything matters. Every single thing matters. Well, thank you, Coach, I for your time. I appreciate you. Thanks for coming by, man. We never had anything like this, so I definitely appreciate you guys. Ed behind the camera. It's a big deal for the kids. Trust me, they appreciate it. Well, I appreciate you allowing me to come into your house and do this, and I'm looking forward to working with you later on in the season. Thank you. It's a Wingate world. <laughs> thank you very much. Right. That was Coach Baker. You're listening to Pat Brown bringing you high school basketball here at Wingate, where they won the game against Grand Street Campus 77-59. Stay tuned for the next game. We will let that be broadcast by Coach Baker. You're tuning in and you're enjoying the sounds of Pat Brown. Ah, that's made a rhyme right then. <laughs> so peace out, everybody. Enjoy your Christmas. Stay safe.